2007 is just around the corner. Have you started thinking about your New Year's resolutions yet? Did you make some last year? Where are you with those? If you're like most of us, you start off the new year with the best of intentions, but something happens along the way, and by the end of the year, you're no further ahead than the year before. In studio today and over the next four weeks, we're actually going to give you some concrete advice and practical tips on how to really make things happen for you in 2007. This week, we'll focus on awareness. And joining us in studio is Jerry Madigan. He's author of The Five plateaus of progress. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Helena. So first of all, why is it that people fail, most people, when it comes to New Year's resolutions? Yeah, it's a very interesting question. You know, people say, oh, New Year's resolutions, this is the year I'm going to really change everything. And, and when they fail, they think, oh, gosh, here we go again. I've failed again. Mm -hmm. And I think there are three main reasons why people fail. Uh, first of all, they don't plan it enough. They don't really get down to serious planning of, of how they're going to, uh, to accomplish the, the goal that they set. The second thing is, they do the same thing. They keep doing, setting these same goals. And the definition of insanity is, you know, they keep doing the same things and expect a different outcome. Right. Um, and the third thing is they, they overestimate their capacity to actually achieve these things. And uh, in, in the five plateaus of progress, we go through five clear plateaus that in order to make the progress that will enable you to set and achieve goals successfully, that, that you're not going to set yourself up for failure, that you're going to set yourself up for success. So there's actually a formula to it, and I think it's quite a universal formula, and one of the key components is discipline. We'll talk about that in another week. But the big issue to talk about right now, I guess, is awareness. And uh, you brought me a little gift, but this really demonstrates what we're talking about yeah, here. Yeah, it does. Well, <laughs> this Thanks, is a, Jerry. A, well, no, this is not for you, actually. This, <laughs> this is just for demonstration. This is a, a typical example, a, a Christmas gift. It's beautifully wrapped. You know, you've got a little bow and you've got paper and gold. And you, you, you can look at this gift and say, gosh, that's beautiful. Thank you for this gift. That is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. And you don't open it. So you leave it there. So you never actually get the benefit of that gift. You never get the value because you don't actually know what's inside. And it, it's like, you know, if you want to make omelets, you have to break some eggs. Right. So with a gift, you have to open the wrapping, you have to take off the bow and you add to find out what's inside, and then you use it, then you get the benefit, then you get the value. Well, people sometimes live their lives like that. They never unwrap the wrapping, they never untie the bows, they never unlock the potential that they have. Therefore, they never find their voice, they never get the opportunity to express their voices. And what my program was all about is, is getting in control, identifying the, the potential that you have, then actualizing that potential. And, and that happens on, on the first part of that is awareness, recognizing just where you're at, where you're at in life. So in terms of awareness, what are some things to keep in mind? What do people need to look at? If they're going to be unwrapping themselves, what are some of the, I mean, which can be a very scary process. I think people get very comfortable, don't they? What they do, the, the whole area of, of comfort zones, sometimes you don't recognize comfort zones. Of course, the old uh, adage is you, know, you don't recognize a comfort zone when you're in it. It's only mm -hmm. when, you, when you break out, you realize, gosh, that was a comfort zone I was in. And, and the way the, the, the concept of the five plateaus of progress works is uh, awareness is recognizing where you're at. Vision is capturing a vision of where you want to be. Discipline is creating the infrastructure to sustain the change, which comes from plateau four, which is implementing change. And then you come to level five uh, commitment you become a level five leader. Uh, you reach this fifth level. Now, uh, the first thing is understanding where you're at, and you need to do a self-audit. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I have a formula for doing this, you know, where people can email me, and, and I, I send them out this whole uh, uh, little program of how they, they do the self-audit. But you have to recognize where you're at emotionally, mentally, spiritually, socially, all of these things. Uh, and you go through a process, and you have to ask yourself the questions. How am I being stimulated? You know, everything grows and unfolds from within, but it has to be stimulated. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you've got a plant and you don't get any light or, or, or water on it, it's not stimulated, it won't grow. And this, we're, as human beings, we're the same. Unless we're stimulated, we won't grow. And if we don't stimulate all the, the dimensions of our being, uh, we lead a, a very, very imbalanced life. You know, people talk about getting this life-work balance right. What we should be talking about is getting your life balance right because you know your work is part of your life, it's your life balance. And you find out where you're being stimulated. And if you're not being stimulated, you need to find, well, I need to search out for areas to stimulate me in, in this dimension so that I become a more balanced individual. And then you, you begin to recognize and identify the potential that you have, and then you start actualizing it. Mm -hmm. So the key here is you really got to go within and you got to look at what's working in your life, what isn't, what makes you happy, what doesn't, and you have to figure out ways to really start feeding yourself? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the stimulation. For instance, emotional stimulation is a big one. You know, people say, well, how are you stimulated emotionally? Well, um, I go to the movies. So, you know, well, 
you need a little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. You need social contact. Right. You, need, you need to interaction with people. Um, because uh, otherwise you, you live in a little silo. And human beings were gregarious by nature. We're not supposed to be in silos. I mean, the, the greatest uh, penalty that they impose in prisons is solitary confinement. They right. would withdraw you from, from your companionship with, your, with people. And sometimes in, in organizations, we live and work in silos. We're not communicating, we're not interacting. And when you talk about developing the individual, developing leadership skills, one of the core competencies required is communication skills. How do you communicate? And that in itself gives you emotional stimulation. That's just one, one tiny aspect of it. Well, thank you so much, Jerry. Thank you. All right, we will see Jerry next week, and we'll be talking more about uh, the Five Plateaus of Progress. The next one is Vision, and of course, the book is The Five Plateaus of Progress. Now, to contact Jerry with some tips on how you can really take a broad view of where you're at, you can call 225 3880, or you can email him at jerrymadigan at shaw.ca. Stay with us.